Amen. Go ahead and be seated. And I'd like to invite Blair and her family to come forward. This side that would be helpful. Get on. Uh -huh. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, you want to hold that for me? Perfect. Okay, here we are. Our first COVID baptism, right? So, all right, Blair. Here we go. Mom and Dad, this is a, a strange saying I'm going to share with you. And uh, as I share it with you, just hear it all the way out. Blair is a gift from the Lord. Yet you do not own your child. God ultimately does. God has created her and God has redeemed her through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. In baptism, God gives her new birth through the power of the Holy Spirit. This is God's child. But he has entrusted you to raise her. So when you consider all that you will invest in future years to raise Blair, Remember that the most important investment will be her faith. We learn from the Word of God that from the fall of Adam, we all are conceived and born sinful. We're all under the wrath of God, and we are all in need of forgiveness. To this end, our Lord commanded baptism, saying, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I'll be with you always to the very end of the age. Blair, receive the sign of the cross both upon your forehead and upon your heart to mark you as one who has been redeemed by Christ the crucified. So parents and sponsors and all family, right? It's great to see all of y'all, by the way. After Blair has been baptized, it is your duty and privileges parents and sponsors and family members to remember her in your prayers, to put her in mind of her baptism, to give your counsel and aid that she be brought up in the true knowledge and worship of God, as she taught the Ten Commandments, the Creed, the Lord's Prayer, and that as she grows in years, you place in her hands the Holy Scriptures, that you bring her to the services of God's house and provide for her further instruction in the Christian faith, and that she come to the sacrament of Christ's body and blood, and thus abiding in her baptismal grace and in communion with the church as she grows up and leads a godly life to the praise and honor of Jesus Christ. Do you promise to fulfill these obligations? If so, please say, I do. And Brady and Tessa and sponsors and family, do you renounce the devil and all his works and all his ways? If so, please say, I do renounce them. If you would join me as we all together say the uh, words or the prayer that our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In congregation, we are all in this together. We're going to even talk about that a little bit more in our sermon time. So I ask you, as we all make this confession together and on, uh, uh, along with this family, do you believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? If so, please say, we do. And do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried? He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. If so, please say, we do. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? If so, please say, we do. Amen. All right. Now, Blair, here we go. There's the fun part. Come here, sweetheart. Hi, sweetie.
Claire Galen, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh man, I didn't do a good job, I know. God brings the grace, not me, that's the good news. Oh my goodness, the wheels are falling off, sweetie. I know, that was my fault. I get a little overzealous. Okay, we'll go for a walk. Let's go over here. I know, it was my fault. This is your family. You know them. They love you very much. They do. They all love you very much. And Blair, the cool thing about baptism, this is also your family. They don't know you so well yet, but they love you very much. That's how it works in the church. I know. You looked at Tyler. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. I want to say a prayer for you. If I, I got to pick this up first. All right, Blair. Okay, here we go. Prayer I pray, pray God's blessings over your mom and dad, that they would invest in your faith. Invest in your love for Blair, and she'll more easily learn to trust God's love for her. Invest your teachings through family devotions, reading the Bible, and worshiping at church, and invest in your examples. Blair will follow you as you follow Christ. Show her that to follow Christ means also to serve others. Invest your prayers. Pray regularly for her. And I pray these blessings into your life, Blair. Amen. And Brady, I'm going to pass her over to you. There we go. All's better now. Congregation, if I could ask you to please rise as we say a blessing over these parents and over this family. You are the body of Christ. You have the responsibility to pray for Blair and for this family and encourage them in their faith. Congregation, will you do this? If so, then please respond with yes, with God's help. Yes, with God's help. And we pray together. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have created this family, made this family your own, and in baptism made Blair your own. We pray your blessing over them now. Help them grow spiritually. Help them invest in Blair's faith until the day when she receives the treasure stored up for her with Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, here, who should I give this? Who's responsible? Ashley, okay. And that candle is uh, kind of like a birthday candle, so every day, it, don't burn, okay. And every day at this year, it's a great reminder to remind her of what God has done for her and her baptism. You can light it. So uh, what is today? June 7th, right? You can light it every June 7th and as a baptismal birthday. So it's a great thing to remember. You can go ahead and blow that out. And, carry, and here's a, a bag, and I'm going to put the, the, the excessively wet napkin in there um, and some of the extra bulletins in there. You can put that, the boxes in there, too. Congregation, can we all sing in celebration together to the doxology? Praise God.